Hey there, welcome to your personalized deep dive. You know how you've been digging into all that research on dark matter and dark energy? Well, get ready for a wild ride because we're about to explore a theory that suggests we might not need exotic particles to explain those cosmic mysteries. We're diving into a research paper that's turning heads with its bold claims. It all starts with a fundamental question. What if dark matter is actually an emergent property of something we already know and understand, the electromagnetic field? Now, you might be thinking, hold on, doesn't the standard model of cosmology say dark matter is some kind of invisible particle we haven't discovered yet? And you'd be right. We've got evidence like galaxies spinning faster than they should and light bending around seemingly empty space. It's all pointed towards the existence of this mysterious stuff we call dark matter. What's so exciting about this new research is that it takes a completely different approach. Instead of searching for new particles, it asks, what if we've misunderstood something fundamental about the electromagnetic field itself? Okay, let's unpack that. We usually think of electromagnetic fields as something generated by charged particles. But this research highlights that these fields have their own energy density. And Einstein taught us EMC2 energy and mass are basically two sides of the same coin. Exactly. So could this energy density within the electromagnetic field itself be accounting for the missing mass we attribute to dark matter? That's the radical idea this paper explores. So instead of a universe filled with invisible particles, this theory suggests it might be overflowing with a hidden ocean of electromagnetic energy. They even have a name for it, geometric saturation. Now, I know that might sound a bit like something out of Star Trek, so let me see if I can explain it in a way that makes sense. Imagine you're standing in a room with countless laser beams crisscrossing all around you. You wouldn't be able to see most of them individually, but their combined energy would be undeniable, right? That's a great way to visualize it. This theory suggests that space is similarly saturated with electromagnetic radiation coming from every direction. Even though we can't directly detect all of it, its energy is still present, potentially holding galaxies together like a cosmic web. So we're talking about a universe where um, the very fabric of space might be buzzing with hidden electromagnetic energy. It's a pretty wild concept. But here's where it gets really interesting for me. This theory doesn't just stop at proposing a new idea of what dark matter is. It actually goes a step further and tries to explain some of its most baffling characteristics. For example, one of the biggest mysteries about dark matter is why we can't see it. I mean, it's supposed to be everywhere, right? So why is it seemingly transparent and doesn't interact with light or other matter in the way we'd expect? And this is where the elegance of this theory really shines through. If dark matter is essentially a consequence of electromagnetic fields themselves, as th this paper suggests, then it would naturally inherit the property of transparency. Just think about light itself. Light can pass through light, can't it? Okay, yeah. That makes sense. It's like those electromagnetic fields are camouflaged by the very nature of electromagnetism itself. Pretty sneaky. But what about the shape of dark matter? We've observed that dark matter seems to form these spherical halos around galaxies. How could something as seemingly chaotic as crisscrossing electromagnetic fields create such a structured shape? It doesn't really seem very intuitive. That's another piece of the puzzle this theory seems to fit in neatly. The paper draws a direct link between the spherical shape of dark matter halos and the way light naturally radiates outward from stars and galaxies. Okay, I'm listening. Because light travels in all directions from these sources, it creates an invisible sphere of influence, of electromagnetic energy density around them, almost like each galaxy is casting a net of electromagnetic influence. And that net, according to this theory, is what we perceive as dark matter. So instead of some invisible particle clumping together, it's the electromagnetic energy itself that's forming these halos over billions of years as light spreads out. That's a pretty mind-blowing concept that something as fundamental as the way light radiates could be shaping the universe on such a massive scale. Absolutely. And it gets even more intriguing when we consider another puzzling characteristic of dark matter. It's coldness. Right. I remember reading about that. Dark matter is considered cold because it moves relatively slowly compared to the speed of light. How does this theory explain that if dark matter is essentially made of, well, light itself, which travels incredibly fast? This is where it gets a bit more complex. But the paper suggests that the fixed reference frame of the radiating sources, the stars and galaxies, might hold the key to understanding dark matter's sluggishness. In other words, while the photons themselves are moving at the speed of light, the overall energy density they create is anchored to these much slower moving galactic structures. So it's like the difference between the speed of individual water molecules in a river and the overall flow of the river itself. 
Right. The molecules might be moving rapidly, but the river's current is determined by the larger landscape. Exactly. You're getting it. The individual photons might be zipping around at the speed of light, but the overall energy density they create, what we perceive as dark matter, is anchored to those massive, slow-moving galaxies. Okay, so we've got this potential explanation for what dark matter is, this hidden ocean of electromagnetic energy, and how it could explain some of its most puzzling characteristics. But here's the real picker. You ready for this? This theory doesn't just stop at dark matter. It actually goes on to try and explain the other big cosmic mystery dark energy. And this is where I think things get really wild. So we've spent all this time, you know, diving deep into this new idea of dark matter, this invisible energy field permeating the universe. But as you were saying, this theory also tries to explain dark energy, you know, that mysterious force that's pushing everything apart faster and faster. It sounds like the universe is playing a cosmic game of tug of war with itself. But how could the same phenomenon be responsible for both holding galaxies together and pushing them apart? It seems like those two things should like cancel each other out. That's what makes this theory so intriguing. It suggests that the expansion we attribute to dark energy isn't some separate force, but a natural consequence of this electromagnetic energy filling the universe. Okay, I'm gonna need you to break this down for me. How can this hidden energy be pushing things apart? Isn't energy supposed to create gravity which pulls things together? It all comes down to how energy and pressure interact with the very fabric of space-time. You see, according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, it's not just mass that warps space-time to create gravity, it's also energy and pressure and the type of pressure matters. Different types of pressure. I thought pressure was just, well, pressure. Think of it this way. We usually think of pressure as pushing inward, like air inside a balloon. But pressure can also push outward. It's what makes the balloon expand. This theory proposes that the electromagnetic field on a cosmic scale exerts this outward kind of pressure. Hold on, so you're saying this network of electromagnetic energy isn't just providing the gravitational glue to hold galaxies together. It's also acting like a cosmic balloon, constantly inflating the universe from within. Precisely. And this could explain why the universe's expansion seems to be accelerating. As more and more stars and galaxies formed over billions of years, they flooded the universe with even more electromagnetic radiation increasing this outward pressure. So it's like the universe has a built-in expansion mechanism powered by light itself. And it's been slowly ramping up over billions of years as more and more stars ignite. That's actually kind of terrifying when you think about it. It is a pretty radical shift in perspective. And mm. you're right to point out that this is still a very new theory. It needs to be rigorously tested and explored further. Mm. But if it holds up, it has the potential to completely change our understanding of the universe. That's what I love about these deep dives. We get to explore these mind-blowing possibilities that could rewrite the textbooks. Now, before we finish, I remember this paper mentioned a fascinating connection to something called the Casimir effect. What is that exactly, and how does it tie into all of this? Oh, yes. The Casimir effect is one of those things that demonstrates just how weird and counterintuitive quantum mechanics can be. Essentially, you take two metal plates and put them very, very close together in a vacuum. You'd think they'd just sit there, right? But because of quantum fluctuations in the electromagnetic field, the same field we've been talking about this entire time, these plates actually experience an attractive force. Whoa, that's wild. So even in a vacuum where we think of space as being empty, there's still this underlying energy field that can create measurable effects. Exactly. And what's so fascinating is that some physicists believe the Casimir effect could be a tiny microscopic example of the same principles at play on a cosmic scale potentially driving the universe's expansion. So we could be seeing this grand cosmic phenomenon playing out right here on Earth in a lab experiment. That's incredible thought. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. We've explored how a radical new theory might just have the potential to explain both dark matter and dark energy, and how something as seemingly simple as light itself could be shaping the universe on the grandest of scales. It's enough to make you look up at the night sky and see things with a whole new sense of wonder, isn't it? If you want to dive deeper into this, I'd highly recommend looking into the Casimir effect. It's a fascinating rabbit hole that highlights just how strange and counterintuitive the quantum world, and by extension, our universe, can be. Thanks for joining us for this incredible deep dive. Until next time, keep those cosmic questions coming.